I'm dreaming off the road again Set free in the wind What's up everybody? So I'm gonna be doing a quick little video while the husband has the kids out. I'm in some pajamas. I just got out of the shower. So basically we're diving into the C-section postpartum type of situation. If you're new here, my name is Trinity. I have two little boys. I had two C-section. Was One was an emergency C-section. The second one was meant to be vaginal, but ended up going towards C-section. So some videos on that if you wanna go check that out. I have both of my pregnancies. I also have some postpartum videos that you can check out. Live content, mom content, or about to have moving content and home setting content. So a lot of content everywhere if you just need to check something out. First question is, what does my second scar look like? Um, I will kind of insert a little video on that. I will say this second time around is completely different than the first time. The first time, the scar kind of like popped out. Um, but when they did my second C-section, they removed my previous scar tissue and it just kind of came back to where it turned white instead of like poking out and was like red the entire time. If I can find a picture of what my second one looked like before I went to have my second one, I will insert that as well. Um, I didn't really have an issue with my first scar until I had this scar. I feel like my first one was like okay, but the more I think about it, the more I'm more happy with how this scar looks like because it's like basically white now. Um, it's not poking out. Uh, so I will say that. Um, do I still have pain or any scar tissue? Do I also have any issues with daily activities? I don't really get pain. Um, I had scar tissue up until like five to six months and then it kind of like went away. The scar tissue was like every day, even if I just like turned a little bit, it was a little uncomfortable. Um, I will say I did start working out again and I was getting super sore down there and I had to like take a break for a week because it was just um, not very convenient basically like it was just like sore it felt like it was very tender um, it felt like it was being pulled on I will say I will ha I sometimes get like spasms I feel like or like the scar tissue like locks up like a muscle cramp I guess I don't really know but like it sometimes hurts but it doesn't like interfere with my daily activities now unless I am working out and being consistent with working out I do have to take a break from that at times next question is am I ashamed of my c-section no um I did struggle with it the first time around just because I had planned how I wanted pregnancy to go labor to go all that like I was a planner um and I learned real quick that you can't control any of that um and now I love the fact that I've had a c-section I'm a little bummed out that I did not get to deliver naturally like I had always planned but I'm able to use both my deliveries as a testimony to the Lord so it's a win-win in my book and it also saved my life and both the boys lives so you know you lose some you win some basically if I were to ever get pregnant and have to go through labor again would I do another c-section I don't know if I would really have the choice um her doctor um, if my c-section went how it did the second time around yes if it was gonna go how it was my first time I would like to avoid that oh you scared me I would like to avoid that um, the second one was just kind of like a good way to close the chapter it was chill my husband was involved in it um, it was just a really great atmosphere and the Lord was watching over us both times but first time was traumatic so if if I ever got the choice or the opportunity to deliver naturally, I would love to have that experience. But if I couldn't, you know, um, I would have another C-section, like I said, if it was like the second one. But, you know, like I said, you win some, you lose some. Um, how is breastfeeding going? So I am currently, we just hit 13 months of breastfeeding. I started colostrum harvesting, if I say that correctly. If not, sorry. Um, I started that, I want to say September before, so a year and some months, yeah, okay, so it was like a year ago, a month before I had um, my second, I cannot speak, <laughs> I started like three weeks or something before having my second son, and was breastfeeding, it was kind of exclusive, he took a bottle for like a little bit if we went on outings, 
January of this year, he stopped taking a bottle and was just refusing. So he was like exclusive. I didn't work. So I didn't really, you know, um, basically I tried winning him just recently just because my husband and I went on like a weekend trip. I want to say weekend. It was just like overnight. Um, so I kind of just went longer without feeding him we got a transitional sippy cup because he was using a tommy tippy cup but would not use a bottle but it turns out he did really well like he didn't imply he wanted to nurse until he saw me then he was all about it so it's mainly like a comfort thing now um and we don't do it as often but we are still breastfeeding it's it's going it's going a lot better than how it did my first time so i'm like really grateful with how the chapter is going and ending so um, how long do I plan on doing breastfeeding and do I regret collecting colostrum beforehand? So I, before we went on our trip, I was wanting to go like kind of until like February to March. That way we were out of the sick season. That way it was just kind of like help with if he got sick or something. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see because I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, like I said, hopefully he can kind of wean himself. Hopefully, you know, it's just I, something I'm definitely praying about. I will say that. Um, do I regret collecting? No, I don't regret collecting him. I actually wish I would have done it my first pregnancy, but I wasn't educated enough on it. And I'm thankful I did it this time around because I feel like it actually helped me, um, when it came to breastfeeding and stuff because we didn't use formula or a bottle. Like my husband was able to do that in the hospital and I just feel like, it was just a better experience overall. So if you're thinking about it, I have a couple of videos on it. You could also do your research yourself and see what's gonna work best for you and your family. How bad do imbalanced hormones affect me? Pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, definitely affected, still kind of does, affected my um, postpartum experience. I will say it's not as bad as it used to be because I could, I could tell they're trying to balance out, but I feel like where I'm still breastfeeding, there's still a little, mm. sometimes I still get hot flashes a couple times a week, but it's not as bad as it was. Taking medication help? Yes, it did. And then I started getting inconsistent with it because I wasn't, I was kind of forgetting to take it. And then um, I just kind of stopped. Uh, I stopped around in March of this year. And the next question is, why did I stop medication? I stopped because I was kind of having like the side effects, like the dry mouth, insomnia, like I was kind of like, I was already having situations like that and I just felt like I was starting to get paranoid because I was breastfeeding and I don't know the long-term effect of like it having an effect on the babies. So I just kind of like had stuff because I was just getting annoyed um, at myself and then I was also thinking like, oh, I could do this, you know, life is great. Um, and also I didn't want it to affect long-term of dealing with it. So I kind of just took it until I knew like I wasn't as bad in my postpartum and I had a little more sanity and it was getting a little bit easier dealing with two under two at the time. Um, am I currently doing anything to help balance hormones? Not really. I'm just trying to like be um, cautious about what I'm putting in my body, like eating wise. Um, I do know like if I'm making bread and I eat a lot of bread or have a lot of carbs, like pasta, bread, you know, all that stuff, I do realize that I get more agitated and all that stuff. So I'm just trying to like pay attention to what I'm putting in my body because 90% of your serotonin um, is affected from your gut. So that's definitely some research you should definitely check out because it's, it's interesting to say the least. So I'm just trying to work out. Occasionally I will run. It's, I haven't been running as lot lately. Um, and I'm just, you know, taking it day by day. If I'm getting stressed out, I try to be more vocal about it. Hey, you know, like I told my husband, like, hey, you know, you're working overtime because I need to take the boys. So he did. I was able to take a shower, all that stuff. So just being, you know, just the little things that I can control and can help is what I'm just trying to do right now until I'm not breastfeeding. And then we can go from there. Also vitamins. Vitamins, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, the last question is, have I gotten my period? Um, yes. I believe I got it either August or something like the ending of August um so it was almost it was like a full year and some before because my last period I had before pregnancy was like in January and it was very I had two periods in January my birth control messed me up any hoozy and the next last question is if so is it regular or regular okay so it's still already regular I feel like because I had it um last week of August and then the first week or 
the second to last week in August and then like the first week of September so I had it like you know back to back almost and then October I think I spotted and then nothing no yeah okay so then I spotted in September and then October I had like a little bit um but I do know I skipped at some point and I don't think I've yeah I haven't had anything this month so it's still irregular um, like I said, I feel like my hormones are still like out of whack out of this world and it probably won't be resolved until I quit breastfeeding and stuff. And like I said, it might be a few more months, might not, I don't know. But anyways, I hope you got a little something from this video. Um, and if you have any more questions, definitely let me know. I'm still on my postpartum journey. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching.